Go on, Colin. Go on, Colin. <laughs> it's all you. All of us. I'm addicted to this fucking Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz countdown thing they're doing right now. Me too. I think God Conor damn, wins I can't a wait decision. for this fight. I think Conor wins a decision. He might. Who knows? Do or you really? Yes. Nate might might get him. I mean, who the fuck knows, man? All we know is Nate got him the first time they fought. I, I, I don't know. I'm just telling you, in yeah. my educated opinion, I think Conor McGregor wins by decision based Dude. off that first round and more knowledgeable training. Yeah, but At we're talking weight. about Nate Diaz with zero training. Coming in with 11 days it's notice. Five round fight, he's still isn't it? won. It's but, five rounds. But, but do you know how like more comfortable Nate is going to be with a full camp? Then he's going to be. I mean, you just assume that given. Okay, there's psychological variables that come into play, especially when you deal with the amount of pressure that Nate is under now. You deal with the amount of uh, press obligations he's now uh, forced to. More uh, than he's attend. ever done. More than he's ever done, for sure. A lot of, but he's also getting a good long stretch of time to know what kind of shape he's got to get in before the fight, right? This is a, I mean, if you, if you thought logically, taking psychological considerations out, logically you would say, well, if he won the first fight, if he's got more time to prepare in the second fight, he's going to be even better than he was in the you first fight. You could say fight. the same thing for Conor, though. You could say he's never fought at 170 before. He, all he did is throw power punches. That first round, it kind of murked him. The second round, he was in trouble because he gassed and got caught. Man, if he can do in that first round for 25 minutes, he wins that fight. It's yeah, a long time. Sure, it's, it's you're right. Look, I'm he, just saying you can play both was, sides. You know, you can you could say he was not without success in the first fight. He had a very successful first round, and he had a very successful minute plus of the second round. Then he got in trouble, and he he a got lot of trouble. he got in trouble, and Nate started talking shit, and he started getting gassed, and he started getting dinged, yeah. and then he shot for a takedown. And, and, and you know where the payday is at, and, right? And the payday is if McGregor wins, because you're gonna have to have a, a three a three p. A three p. Well, the payday is if McGregor and Diaz have an old time schlabber knocker. And McGregor wins. You ha he has to win. Yeah. Or he could have a fucking no. real close decision nope. loss. He's on two then. You can't you can't do that. I am mm. obsessed. I will not stop until I beat Nate Diaz. No, Cause you lose two in a row and then you'll see them go, nah bitch, go ahead and get down no, there. No, no, hey, no, he, no, no. Not here's, if you're here's, a little here's, white guy from Ireland named Conor McGregor. That's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, nah, motherfucker. There's they won't have a third fight. Nah. There's your leprechaun. No, no, you're, you're, no, the UFC's leprechaun is a guy, he's juiced to the gills, his name's Brock Lesnar. That's your leprechaun. That's the other leprechaun. <laughs> That's the other leprechaun, he's way bigger. Not your typical leprechaun. Me and the man, Brandon Gibson, get ready to do a Hardcore simulation, uh, flow, fucking cardio thing. Adrian, I hate you right now. You're a son of a bitch. Love you, Carlos Garnet. <laughs>
I'm headed out to Las Vegas. I'm gonna get there for the weigh-ins. Wanna hang out? Let me know. It's gonna be a good time.